into that third outside zone. Looks like Simon Olsen definitely got some confidence in between that Oh, point go. Wow. Holy shit, that hurt. Okay, we got contact, guys. Get back to the pit and start getting parts out. Okay, so today's Thursday. We are up here in the beautiful Pacific Northwest, Washington State at Evergreen Speedway. So it's beautiful out here. I'm so thankful that there's no humidity. The weather's absolutely perfect. Uh, I know that this 2JZ behind me is gonna be much more happy about that because it's not gonna be overheating. Uh, so we were talking about last round in St. Louis. This is the hottest this engine has ever gotten over the several years that we've been running the JZ platform. So the cars don't like the hot weather, the crew guys don't like the hot weather, and uh, but anyway, the point is we're still gonna be back in the Pacific Northwest. We drove up from Southern California, hung out with a couple of homies on Wednesday before the event, and went out on the river, played around with some jet boats. Uh, it's always good to come back and reconnect with a bunch of family and friends. So looking to put on a good show this weekend, and uh, hopefully we get her done. I'm looking for another carbon trophy this weekend, so hopefully we can make that happen. drive my race car in like 10 minutes? Yeah. That's gonna be sick. Thank That's you. a good day to drive a race car. Dude, right? I'm so lucky. All right, today's Friday. We're going into qualifying. We're feeling good. Uh, two sets of tires in so far, so Terry might want to do a gear change. I don't know. Still feeling the track out, but car's doing good. Ask Chuggy. Chuggy, how you feeling? Feeling pretty good. How do you think we're gonna do today? I think we're gonna do good. You want qualifying, <laughs> baby? You got a good feeling about it. How we do? I got a good feeling. Through that start chicane, here we go. The Royal Purple O'Reilly Auto Parts Falcon Tire BMW. Dylan Hughes. All right, through the through that big bank. Comes off it, puts a little handbrake pull into that second outside zone, into the third. You can see him lift a little bit there, but again, that momentum, you know, winning sideways, it's gonna slow down the car naturally as opposed to uh, tapping the brakes, but powering all the way through. Really good line, and again, Dylan Hughes. That was really good. Yeah, that was awesome. 9-0, 90 for Dylan Hughes. Okay, qualifying was pretty good, so we ended up with a score of a 90, which is, uh, I feel like, fairly appropriate. We laid down a pretty solid lap. Uh, we're just kind of playing around with the car at this track, so we, we pretty much have our setup from last year that we ended up uh, getting on the podium with. Uh, plug that right back into the car and uh, it was feeling really good. Falcon tires are absolutely shredding. Real Purple keeping that 2JZ running nice and strong. And um, like I said, laying down a decent qualifying run, but uh, we made a couple gear changes in the car. But the gear that we actually chose at the beginning of the weekend was the best gear. So we changed it this way, didn't really like it, went back to it, changed a couple more things, ended up going back to what we had originally had. So the car is absolutely shredding, stoked to be done with qualifying, and um, ready to get her done tomorrow come Saturday. So we're feeling pretty good, all around good vibes, and uh, to finish off the day with a good qualifying score is awesome. So ready to get her done tomorrow.
today we are going against Simon Olsen in the 32 and what, we have a two hour warm up? Two hour warm up to get us started this morning and then uh, straight into the top 32. And we have a, we have a decent bracket. So um, looks like if we make it to the eight, it'll probably be Matt or Odie. Uh, so kind of crazy, all the Falcon guys are kind of in the bottom corner, but it doesn't really matter either way. We're here to push hard and hopefully we have a good weekend and we're digging for that carbon again. We freaking want it. So uh, time to push hard today. So we'll see what happens, fingers crossed. Eyes up, fill your zone, don't get too aggressive, and then we'll see what kind of chase he does for it. Royal Purple Falcon Tires, O'Reilly Auto Parts, Dylan Hughes Racing, BMW. There we go. Dylan Hughes out front who qualified fifth yesterday, a great showing for him. Initiates high on the bank, Simon Olsen. He's going to need to mimic that angle. He does get close. That great carbon Kevlar HGK kitted. Super up, big angle from Dylan. Almost going the outside of the track. That would be essentially be like kind of a deduction, not an incomplete. Simon, you can see him kind of clamoring, lunging forward, but needs to mimic that angle. Gets close there, like that towards the latter portion, but just a little too late there for Mr. Olsen. Your lead was okay. Um, his chase, he was he was shallow on angle, trying to keep your gap him on the bank. Um, if you keep it close, just make sure you fill the zone. He, he sacrificed zone to keep proximity. Again, from Norway in that 2JZ power Toyota Supra, the all new Supra. Dylan Hughes, you can see him kind of kick back a little bit. Now he goes up. Simon Olsen, great job right now. Let's see what we got here coming to that power alley. Throw some more angle at it. Dylan Hughes into that third outside zone. Looks like Simon Olsen definitely got some confidence in between. That oh, oh, Boingo! Wow! Wow! Bing bong, there we go. Dylan Ooh. Hughes jumps up. Holy sh that hurt. Okay, we got contact, guys. Get back to the pit, start getting parts up. On the way back. Uh, so, lollipop, lower control arm in the front left. Shock potentially is okay. And we also have the right rear took a lot of damage as well. It bent the upper control arm, which means that we need to drop the subframe to get that upper control arm out. Halftime break. The work starts now for the team and him. And I know Dylan is a, is kind of a hands-on driver. He does have his crew, but it's all hands on deck. You know, between his team and uh, and even his dad and, and the whole family, they're, they're going to jump on that vehicle ASAP. I had like a really, really mediocre chase on Simon. He's like, I made a mistake kind of coming off the bank and I was basically playing catch up since then. And uh, kind of trying to shortcut the course, get some proximity back and I popped through the smoke and then all of a sudden it, the car was there. Like, I mean, it happened just so fast and I was kind of like, when I tandem, I kind of tried my best to look past the car in front of me. So as soon as I popped through the smoke, I had my line of sight up towards the wall to make sure I didn't hit the wall. And uh, like I said, I popped through the smoke and just the back of his car was there. So we did like a bounce and a good spin. And uh, yeah, I mean, it just happened so fast. And it's crazy to watch it even on the live stream. It doesn't even look like the smoke was that thick, but like I was kind of far back. And when you're far back, the smoke is way worse. So just basically dove through the smoke and hit him hard. So, you know, I, uh, I'm bummer for Simon. Sounds like he lost the motor in his car. And that's why it shut down. So um, he, he had one on me, you know what I mean? Like, if he would have kept going, he would have had that battle for sure. So it's a bummer that we, you know, we got it that way. But I mean, obviously I'll take it. But uh, you know, we got some, we got some work to do. How she goes. Uh, yeah, 32 sucked. Uh, got it back together. The boys did an awesome job. Thank you guys very much for getting her back together for us. And uh, we're ready to push against old Jonathan Castro on the 16. So hopefully it's less uh, less dramatic. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I don't see Castro anywhere. <laughs> I think he's up there maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh, he's up there. Again, you're Pacific Northwest Nequali, Washington's. Oh, the Royal Purple Falcon Tires BMW O'Reilly Auto Parts. It is Dylan. 
the Dozer Hughes. Hey, you gotta get the blood flowing. He's getting that car just. Tighten right with every turn and burn, but Dylan Hughes, a win in Orlando. Can he do it again here in Seattle? This is his home track. The Royal Purple Falcon Tires, O'Reilly Auto Parts. BMW, big angle from him, high on the bank. Castro, great proximity. Both of them kind of wavering. Castro, great proximity by Castro. Coming down into the power alley. Both of them filling that second outside zone. Castro dives in on the inside. Not the proper line by Castro, unfortunately, but he still holds on to that proximity. A good job. He made a lot of mistakes in the chase, so just make sure you fill your zone behind it. Copy that. Here we go. Jardel Methildom, Toyota GR86. Big angle there. Dylan Hughes looks like kind of pedals back, but now gets closer. Look at how settled that car is from Castro. It looks so good. And now into that second outside zone. Here comes Dylan Hughes. He takes that nice approach with that third outside zone. Wow. Wow. Look at that diving in on that inside clip. And then that final outside zone, that overhead view, really highlight. Yeah, boys. Buddy. Dozer, Dylan Hughes, the Qualmy Zone. The local boy does it, and he's going against Matt Field next, FYI. Great day, Gary, coming in hot. So, nice, uh, nice clean battle with Castro. Um, we ran him here a couple times, so not to say I knew what to expect, especially him being in a new chassis, a new power plant, all that stuff. Castro's a good driver, man. You just never know with that dude, so um, definitely feels good to get that one over on him, and it was a unanimous win on our part, so. That feels really good just to be able to, you know, no one more time, no messing around, no crap. Just nice, clean battles, and we came out with a win. Just gonna keep this momentum going. We got Matt Field, he's leading the points, but that don't mean nothing to us. So hopefully we'll, uh, we'll stick it to him and see what happens. Let's see how we go into that first outside zone. Matt Field, big angle from him. Keeping it precise, good proximity by Dylan Hughes. Needs to mimic the angle a little bit more concise. Now in that third outside zone, there goes Hughes diving in on the side of Matt Field. Now transitioning into that final outside zone, working on it. Oh, look at Hughes going deep there. Got yeah. a boy. Oh yeah, I forgot. This is hooked up. It feels so good. Dylan Hughes sitting fifth in points. Matt Field, as we said, he's got the lead. Dylan Hughes, Royal Pro. Oh, buddy! Wow, Matt Field flirting with the side of that BMW, the Royal Purple Rally Auto Parts Falcon Tires BMW. Now coming into that power rally. How is Matt Field going to handle this? Into that third outside zone. You can see Field dropping a formation. Big angle there from Dylan Hughes. Coming to that final outside zone. Hughes and Field. Wow. Stomp your feet, Evergreen. All right, get ready for one more time. That felt good. Let's run, Dozer. Thank you, guys. One more time. Pushing the beast in the bag into that second outside zone. Through that power alley, good transition from Field and Hughes. And past that inside clip, great transition. And now, oh my goodness, the composure of Hughes right there. Dylan Hughes, Matt Field, let's see how they handle this. The Falcon tires wrapped around those four star wheels for both the drivers, Dylan Hughes. This is his home track, Evergreen Speedway. 
and he wants to get the win here, but Matt Fields has not got a win this year. Here he goes, transition to outside zone three. Fairly similar with Dylan Houston in that chase position at first glance. Now transitioning, Matt Fields drops in a formation. Whoa, yo! One more time, and a one more time, and a Dylan Hughes. So uh, not one, but two one more times, all right. Dylan Hughes, the dozer, the beast of the bed, gets the jump. Another one more time battle, Jimmy Shake into that big outside zone. We've seen some amazing driving so far. And look at that, the Vortex Supercharged Corvette of Matt Field comes on in. This is Dylan Hughes' house. His, he grew up cutting his teeth here and burning up tires. That sun coming into place, shining a light on him. Into that final outside zone. And Dylan Hughes gets into formation, gets deep, the 129. Uh, he gapped you a little bit on the start. That kind of had initiation up a little bit. Own man versus machine and synchronicity and going against another man and machine versus the track. Here we go, Dylan Hughes. Whoa, Matfield jumps to the side of, oh no! Matfield spins and Dylan Hughes continues on. He does need to continue. And if he finishes it out, Dylan Hughes is going to the final four. Comes around, oh buddy. They might blame it on me because I hit the wall. Didn't say anything, let's wait and see. We went uh, two one more times with Matt Field. Uh, he ended up bumping me on, on the wall. He spun, they called it my fault, and then the whole crowd started booing. In typical fashion, I feel like I just go over there in front of the crowd and do a wheelie on the motorcycle. So of course I went over there in front of the crowd and did a wheelie on the motorcycle, and then I stopped at the bottom by the judges and I just like did one of these, like, it was like pointing at him and, and the whole crowd was going nuts. Like every single person was on their feet, it was so funny. And then uh, now apparently they're chanting, let's go Dylan. So I don't know what the heck's gonna happen. Dad went up there to protest. At this point, I'm just like, I don't know, whatever. Dylan, what's her name? Corkow. Um. <laughs> And uh, the performance bonus award goes to the, do the dozer, the broser, Dylan Hughes. <laughs> Dylan, Dylan, just get up here, uh, grab a photo, grab a photo with Larry real quick, or right there, not with Larry, but uh, it's upside down. We love you all very much. The Pacific Northwest is absolutely home to me forever. I love you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.